people it's getting a bit lighter it's um you can see how the uh temperature change right let's see there should be a ups here for me so let's have a little looky see one I can see an appliance but one that I don't think I'm gonna be able to lift in on my own hmm. I just tried I just reversed into a pole for goodness sake yes there's no good flashing a bonus bit of cordage. <laughs> They're still but quite nice. There's some plants here, what are these I wonder? I don't know, but I do hate seeing plants in a dumpster. Is that a slug? No, I don't want to take the slug with me. <laughs> Why are they in the dumpster? What's wrong with, what are these? I don't know. Don't, oh, there's another one. I'm going to look these up and see if it's something that I can uh, save. I don't think there's anything else new. What is that? gloves on didn't I? That's all plastic anyway. Nothing new. Well there was a something new. Glasses? Broken glasses. No, all the same. Thank you Doke. Oh. I'll take the UPS. Oh, see, I need a hydraulic trolley and then I could have put that in my car. I'll have the cord off it. That's about all I can do right now. Which is really annoying. Let me ponder. These are nice and heavy. Put that in the car. Take the plants, I have no idea what they are. Bonus. Oh, that's... Hmm. But is there a block I can use? Let's see if there's a lock I can use. This might work.
gone. Is that full of water? Jeez, it's so heavy. I don't think I'm going to get it in. It's heavier than the one I did before. Why is that so heavy? Good Lord. Leak out a bit. There it goes. I'm so glad that I realised that was full of water. I'll just uh, wait till it stops trickling. <laughs> looking the same except for so what's, what's that can't reach it need my grabber I've looked at that before what's that 40 objectives lens hmm I'm so annoyed I didn't get my GoPro. Wait a minute. I'm sure there's not actually a microscope in here, is there? Oh my god. There is a microscope in there. Under light box. Wow, it's like a whole microscope. Do not use. Why do they say do not use? I'm, I'm... That's in there. That's in there. This is like three microscopes. Oh my god. Exactly how many there are, I can't believe this. So I've got eight microscopes there one, two, three, four, five, six, 
and two at the back, seven, eight. Brand new microscopes. Well, I mean, I don't know why they say do not use. I'm a little maybe concerned about that. I'm like, what's been under these microscopes? I don't actually think anything's been under these microscopes. I want to see what these lenses are. stainless steel times 15 oh, these are brilliant I, just, I can't believe I can't believe what I've just found I'm having a mic that's coming to my analyzing medical equipment this never happens to me I just want to make sure there's nothing else yeah. But I want to see the date on this box without showing you the date on the box. Let's see the address is on the box, parcel of course. 8th of May 2024. Literally, this is a brand new box of microscopes. What the hell? But I'm, I'm so confused. They're not going in the bin on my watch. <sighs> hey, curious people. So I've got this. On a skip dive i'm not sure if i showed you the dive or not if i can find the footage i'll put it in so for your motor we've got a double fan blade system going on here so basically just want to get this stripped out as quickly and as easily as possible so this is what i love about um skip diving is that you just never know what you're going to get which is nice isn't it so cordage out chop box right let's see if we can get in from so we've got some big flat heads on this side. I wonder if they will actually move. Oh yes. Obviously we've got bolts on the other side. Which that is the hindrance. Um, what I really want off of there is the motor because... Oh, okay. They, the blades are actually aluminium as well. So... Let's undo everything we can do. See? That the impact isn't quite strong enough. So switch to this one. Which keeps slipping. So they are free now. Obviously, we are encased. So... Strong rivets. Lovely. 
Okay. It's like a motor dumbbell. <laughs> Possibly. Some rivets, I tell you. Shush. Unfortunately, when you're trying to get ready to do a scrap yard run, this is what happens to your workbench because you keep pulling things out that need a little bit of doing to them that you want to get into that run, and then all of a sudden you're left with this chaos. Um, but quick point to mention. Some of you will remember me getting those lamps out of the um, skip. Well, um, the reason they were in there, interestingly, is that they, health and safety wise, by any um, kind of local authority place, they are not allowed anymore. And the reason is, is that anybody with vulnerabilities can actually very easily electrocute themselves by simply, I don't think I've got one with a bulb in it, but just literally by unscrewing the bulb, once that's plugged in and live, all it takes is a finger in there, and then you've got the 240 volts from the mains of electricity. Uh, and so they are no longer allowed. And because of that, I kept a couple. So I kept these ones for myself to use in here, because they're just quite handy when, you know, you need a little bit of extra light. I am going to try and get LED bulbs for them though, to be more energy efficient. Um, I wasn't comfortable doing anything else with these because I'd never forgive myself if they ended up somewhere where a child unscrewed a bulb and electrocuted themselves. So although they were working, I am actually scrapping them. Um, and so that's why they are in the scrap pile. So yes, just going to do a little bit of tidying up because I've got one more thing I want to open. So I'll show you that in a minute. Okay. So brass bearing, gold bearing... Gold bearing, gold bearing, gold bearing, gold bearing, uh, gold bearing, gold bearing. You can see how the gold bearing plugs add up very quickly. People think it's not worth saving them at a pound a kilogram. Well, it is. It definitely is. As you can see, gold bearing, gold bearing, gold bearing, gold bearing, gold bearing, gold bearing, gold bearing. Gold bearing. Basically, any USB gold bearing has gold bearing content and therefore gold bearing gold bearing Ooh, that's like a, an adapter one gold bearing gold bearing gold bearing gold bearing so you can see one bag of cordage that i've just processed has literally just given me all of this there's one more over here all there, all there. Oh, I'm dropping them now. My hand's so full I can't hold any more. That's brass bearing. Uh, that's brass bearing. More gold bearing. More gold bearing. More gold bearing. More, more, more. And I'll probably find more. So, all of that from one bag of cordage. This is going to be tricky to film and open the box. <laughs> it can all just go into my gold bearing plug box. This is where you've got RJ45s, VGAs, USBs, USBs, all that kind of thing in there. Pound a kilogram. You would be surprised how quickly that adds up, I promise you. Ugh, a darn mylanch. 
Man, this stuff is slippery. That's it. A little awkward. What has occurred here? What is that doing there? Yeah, I've got a dress on. Woo! <laughs> It's summer, you can officially tell it's summer when uh, Sobba starts wearing summer dresses, basically. Oh. Okay, right. Oh yeah, I've got something to show you. Let's see. Ta da There's the dress. That's not what I've got to show you. What I've actually got to show you is, for those of you who are not connected to me on Facebook, my new tattoo. Wait, it's not finished. Um, it isn't finished. It's uh, my arms are huge, dear me. Um, it's not shaded, but the the real pierced resistance is what's at the bottom. Can you see my little tools? <laughs> Tattoos absolutely have got to be personal because what is the point if they're not personal? <laughs> so, yeah, decorative, not the most flattering dress. This arm is where my sister's gonna go at the end of the month, a uh, portrait of her. But, yeah, I love it. I love the little hammer. Hello. Hello, my beautiful girl. Birdie wordy. You okay? Hey? Anyway, let's continue. Eh? So, oh, my old stickers. I thought, because I've got new ones now, I thought I might line. I've got so many, I might just line the shed with them. That's my old channel logo. I mean, I've had my new channel logo for over maybe, I don't know, like a couple of years now, but. Uh, obviously just didn't get round to creating new stickers so um, I've been doing woodwork I've been oh maybe I'll show you that too so I'm in the process of building a new planter because my old planter the bottom fell out I may have already shown you that it's quite a disaster really um, but so yeah, I'm currently breaking pallets and I've, I've got the two, I just need to um, put them together, do the bottom. So, uh, and there's foam from packing that I use as a nearly pad, like great recycling. So yeah, um, that's the, the planter that I'm in the process of making. <laughs> you just like to follow me. Oh, she's got bad eyes. She's been on antibiotics. Poor little thing. Flowers looking lovely. Look at my lupin. That is going to be such a stunning... I love lupins. Just look at the foliage on it. And that one. The one down there is not doing so good. The slug's got to it. This one... No buds yet. This one, oh, we've got a bud on that one, down there. Uh, not on that one. The slug's got the hostas as well. It's like, darn it, I even sacrificed some of my beautiful copper in there to try and stop them, but they're just pesky. Pesky, pesky, pesky. Oh, uh, something I've got to get to scrap. Hang on. Now, Ian, this is a real shed spider. Hello. What are you doing? I mean, you're kind of covering up my beautiful brass with spiders <laughs> webs. There's like spiders webs behind behind the boobies. Not. Oh my! You can keep the flies down. It's getting a little excessive though. I mean. Uh webs everywhere everywhere 
go. I found on um, Irish's live stream the other day the plug by Drew Ewey's mic. <laughs> <sighs> right, let's get on. Just putting some more <clears throat> brassy bits and pieces. Oh, her cordage on that one. Oh, music next door. I think that might be a bit too loud to not get copyright. That's unfortunate timing. <laughs> so this is back to that um, motor from earlier in the video. Um, the bit that corrupted or that I've lost or I don't even know what happened to it to be honest is that me uh, cutting the motor out of the middle of that thing. Um, these look like nice aluminium bits, actually. Yeah, wow, we've got a spider in a spin. What's occurring here? What is occurring here? What? Is that I'm, I'm so Oh it was alive. Okay. <laughs> it's just the spider itself was making that huge vibration trying to escape that web. Wow. See, spiders everywhere. Uh right. Mm. Very nice. So what we need to do is get into this bad boy. I'll just see. There's movement, you can see. Okay. Mm. I'll do it this way so that I can uh, not have it crash down on me, basically. See it now. See the pin I need to remove. Just not that easy from just gonna have to pop these rivets out, there's no other way for it really. Spinning aspect. That's one out. Two, three. inside that thing nothing oh my god seriously I still can't get to the coil Ugh! see what chucking it on the concrete does ah yeah bosh
<laughs> Nana. Hi, Frida. Uh, no point messing around. Sometimes you just just smash the darn thing. Okay, so. The pull on that, that, the strength of that was quite something. Quite something. So, that's just going to go into steel. Well, there's a bit of aluminium to get off actually. And, mm, not sure what that is. It's steel. Steel. It's all steel, so. Tiny bit of aluminium on there. Okay. And that's the innards. Heavy. That's a heavy case. A little hat for. I quite like that. I might keep that. Is that hoarding? You decide. I feel like this is a little top hat. A little top hat. I feel like it could go for a little snowman. Hey. How about you, fella? Huh? Let's see a little top hat. Oh, look at that. Like a glove. Fits perfectly. Lovely. Sometimes, peeps, sometimes it's just the way it is. Okay, motor. Let's see. Don't like the colour of that. But I do feel like it's going to be copper. Don't like the colour of it. Shall we see? It's the good stuff. Yummy. So, I can cope with that. I hate the way at some angles copper looks like aluminium. There you go. Yum, 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 yum. Yum, 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 yum. Change the angles so you can see it's just sort of like making it look white. Okay, so that's a copper one in the round to it round to it because eesh. okay next up something that uh, electrocuted my mum yesterday well almost this rather colourful uh, socket she got a little buzz from yesterday ooh see the contact in there so let's have a look oh no triangular screws look at these screws you see that I swear they do that just to you know what, what, what is the need honestly but luckily for me this best set I've ever bought to get me out of trouble has said triangular screw Cheapest chips on Amazon. Oh, I should put that on an affiliate link in for that because honestly, it's got me out of so many problems. The U screw in it is great as well. Okay, this is going to take a while, isn't it, to line up the triangle? Sheesh. Can't even get it in the right spot, look. Oh, you know what? Okay, line up said triangle. I'll try that slight direction do i get it okay well this is a godsend however i hear something else that's also a godsend that's the fate of this bad boy or if you don't want the brick hammer there's always the axe and you can see my bad boy's been well used I'll be in 10 minutes. I'm just going to do everyday solvers on this here. Yeah. Okay. Let's hope this is open because I can't do any more smashy uppy washes in here. Yeah, that'll do. All right, pickle. 
Okay. Several bits of that have fallen down into the abyss of doom. And uh, we'll be staying there for now. Okay. Interesting. Now, this is different. So, you can see here that they have scrimped on the brass. Usually, these have these lovely. brassy bars you can see the difference look at the amount of brass there compared to the amount of brass there was this purchased on ebay <laughs> hmm. okay so no wonder it didn't last let's see the contacts as well oh well there is there is a there is actually a silver plated contact there. I'm surprised at that. Okay, well that's something surprising. Let's undo these. Box. So there's still some lovely goodies in here. What we like. Indeed we do. Indeed we do. So, yes, I have got new stickers. I've started sending them out. But my God. <laughs> my goodness, the postage. So international stamps for me here in England have now gone up to £2.50 each. So every sticker I want to send outside of the UK is going to cost me £2.50 on top of the price of the actual stickers which you know ouch is, is what i could say so um few few and far between i'll be sending them basically every month because you know four stickers is a tenner and i make hardly any money on youtube so um it takes me a considerable amount of time because you know lots of people skip past the ads and what have you and i haven't got that many subs it's um yeah expensive so I, I i enjoy sending out stickers but apologies if there's a delay because um yeah basically i just can't afford to send them all out at once because it's just gonna bankrupt me basically but um i'm more than happy to send you one if you want one please email me don't do it in the youtube comments because i'll lose it um send it to my the, the email everyday solos at hotmail.com it's on my about page if you forget and i will send you one okay let's get these goodies out of here i just can't promise it'll be straight away basically unless of course you want to send a payment so that i do send it straight away I'm, you know more than happy with that it's actually only finances that are going to stop me sending them all at once Okay, otherwise, yeah, um, no problem sending them at all. It's just going to be a few a month. <laughs> so it depends on the order that people ask for them. That one has still got the switch there. That hasn't popped off like the rest. There we go. Has now. Haha. <laughs> Okie dokie. Still some very nice bits and bobs in here. Bells, mummy's bells. I've had those since I was a teenager. They used to be in my bedroom. There we go, that's nice and empty. And let's properly look what we've got here. So, I just wish I had more time to be up here, really. Life's not really allowing that right now, sadly. Um, lots. Lots going on. Lots and lots going on. So, don't. On that note, though, if you've ever sent me a present, please don't even think about sending money for postage for um, 
a stamp because that's just not happening more than happy to re re return the favor and sending a <laughs> sticker so please don't that will make me feel bad please don't do that okay right i'll get that in a minute okay brassy goodness quite nice this um brass wire it's not something i've actually come across before so they're they're nice look at the color of that chunky it's almost a bit questionable that no it is real <gasps> phew i mean it had to be really to do its job but you never know with these dodgy products sometimes uh and then we've got all these contacts so we'll just literally snip these and put them in the contacts jar that one i'll just try and bend off because i don't need to put that whole thing in the contacts jar that'd be crazy I'll tell you what, that brass wire was a lot harder to sculpt than the copper wire. I sculpt with copper wire all the time. Um, I do things like little trees, sculptures to go inside, um, coasters, all sorts of things. Um, and I mean, there's my crown, my dusty copper crown that I did for the Jubilee. Um, but yeah, this, this was much, much harder to sculpt. Okay. So inside there, we've got some lovely brass, some nice contacts, some singles, nice little pile of copper actually. Um, and some lovely, lovely brassy wire. Um, also this of course. So you want to just pop that. Hello Purdy, you coming to see mama in here? Yo. Oh, you gonna me out, me? Hello. Come then. Come on. Hello. Oh, it's messy in here. Mind your little tootsies. Hmm. No, you meowing at me. Oh, you got sawdust on your whiskers. No, you. Are you scrapping with mama? Hmm? Oh, I've got a spider in my hair. <sighs> okay. Yes, let's. Just give this a little pop, that's what I normally do with them. You'll hear it go. Any second now. There we go. Cat hair. Hair for flying through the shed now. Okay, so yummy. There's the switch. Some more nice contacts. Look at that. That's a nice bit of. Wait a minute. That's, that's actually got a really nice contact on it, but it's... The contact is... Yeah, no, okay. So this is what I mean. It's not real copper. So confusing when that happens. I'm like, how does that actually do its job? I... What? Wait a minute. I say I've got a brass copper magnet now. Ian's got a brass magnet, I've got a copper magnet. All right. So that's a horrible fake bit of copper, but obviously we want the contact off of there. So I took the contact off, which is, where are you? Which is there. And no sticky <laughs> so um it does at least have a nice silver plated contact on it so that'll go in the contacts jar just over the jar start a new one let's see how quickly this one builds up and we'll just pop all of those in there get all those nice contacts off of that thing we've got the nice brassy bits Singles, um, some yummy, yummy copper, yum, yum, and some brassy wire. 
Um, I'm actually going to have to call it there because my battery's died. This video has been very higgledy piggledy this week because I started it last week and did bits and then came back to bits and I do apologise for that. Sometimes that's the way it goes, um, scrapper's life. But absolutely thrilled with the microscopes. Ah, yes, on the microscopes. So what I discovered when I got them home, oh, I should really show you, shouldn't I? I'll go out the front and show you in a sec. Basically, what they've done is they've replaced the microscopes. And so they've put the old ones in that box, um, which explains why. I'm coming now, darling. I'm just saying goodbye to everybody. Do you want to say goodbye to everybody? Say goodbye. Fellas? Say goodbye, YouTube. Bye, YouTube. Thanks for watching. Bye, goodbye. <laughs> so I'll show you those in a minute. Um, no, not I, nice. I'll show you those. Uh, so yeah, um, I had to get spray duster and clean them all up, and they are now being donated to our local primary school. Um, I went in and asked if they'd like them. There's loads of them on eBay. There's there's that actual brand on eBay as well for sort of thirty thirty pounds each. New, they range from fifty to a hundred. I'm keeping one at home because my girls thought it was cool. Um, and it was fascinating. I've been looking at all sorts under the microscope. Um, might use it up here too. Um, so, yes, they've been donated. I could have sold them. But actually, I wanted to see if the local primary school could benefit from them. Um, and they can. So I'm thrilled. So we'll have a quick look at those. And then um, I'll catch you in the next one. So I just want to say thank you so much for watching. Um... Thanks for watching Everyday Silas. She loves you. <laughs> Please leave a comment, a main comment in the comment section. A thumbs up. Subscribe. Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Am I boring you, Frida? <laughs> <laughs> Jeez. Uh -oh. Is mummy boring you? Yeah. <laughs> you cheeky. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm gonna go. She's cracking me up. <laughs> Good <laughs> love the giggle. <laughs> Stop it. Don't fake your. Okay, thank you so much, guys. I love you all so much. I'll see you, <laughs> I'll see you in the next one. Bye. 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 Bye.